Good morning children. This morning session is dedicated to class 11 and we are doing lesson number 6, the Browning version. This is a one act play. Uh, it is a story of two school teachers and a student named Taplow. Mr. Coco Harris and Mr. Frank are two <coughs> teachers of the same school. Uh, this uh, Terence had Rattingham's Browning version presents two contrasting school teachers. They are Mr. Frank and Mr. Cocker Harris. They are different in age, temperament and devotion to their profession. Uh, Mr. Frank is a young and more social while Mr. Cocker Harris is a middle-aged hard taskmaster and he is reserved. Mr. Frank lacks involvement and devotion. Mr. Cocker Harris is a devoted hard taskmaster. The one at play presents the hidden rivalry among teachers. In this play, we find that the two teachers are of contrasting features. Mr. Frank is young and social. Mr. Cocker Harris is a middle-aged hard taskmaster. He doesn't mix up with the students. You know. He, he, he keeps a respectable distance from the students. He enjoys respect of his students, but he has uh, contrasting features from Mr. Frank. The only thing common between Mr. Frank and Mr. Cocker Harris is that they belong to the same school. Young Frank is quite open to students. He doesn't believe in strict discipline. He, he doesn't keep distance while dealing with the student. He takes a lot of interest in you know, talking to the students and talking about other teachers. His long conversation with Taplow reveals the open nature. On the other hand, Mr. Cocker Harris is a very strict and a hard taskmaster. He keeps a respectable distance from the students. Mr. Frank doesn't believe in observing formalities. He doesn't, uh, I mean, uh, obey the law and regulations of the schools. Mr. Cocker Harris follow them very strictly and he regards uh, the law and discipline of the school with a greater temperament. He never uh, leaks out the result before it is formally announced. Mr. Crocker Harris is feared but is respected. He's a hard taskmaster. He's a wonderful, I mean, he has got a wonderful hold on the students. He had got wonderful respect from them. They are uh, scared of him. Mr. Frank admits that he is envious of Mr. Crocker Harris. Perhaps he lacks that effect on the students which Mr. Cocker Harris has established. Taplow, he, 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 he incites Taplow to criticize Mr. Cocker Harris, but Taplow abstains from doing that. He even asked Taplow to cut short and go away, Mr. Cocker Harris mm, mm, uh, class. He even asked Taplow mm, uh, to criticize him openly, but Taplow avoids doing that. He teaches science, but he doesn't have any interest in science. Taplow teaches, uh, Tep uh, Frank teaches science, but he doesn't have any interest in science. Taplow says that Crocker Harris is shriveled inside like a nut. It is quite true. He is not open. He doesn't like flattery, nor does he like anyone, uh, you know, to uh, take advantage of his, uh, I mean, you know, sense. He is a hard taskmaster. He gives extra work to the last two, to, you know, Taplow, even on the last day of the school. That shows that he is very, dis very disciplined and very strict. That he does in order to compensate one day absence. Taplow for, mm, for being absent is punished for give, being given the work on the last day of the school. Sometimes, mm, you know, Mr. Cocker had his cracks jokes. But his jokes are as mm, lacks humor and nobody laughs at them. His jokes is understood by him himself only. He himself only. Nobody else understands his joke. In spite of everything, children likes Mr. Cocker Harris for his strict disciplinarian. He says that he is um, he doesn't have any I mean relaxation for his students. He believes in strict discipline. Uh, so this is how we come to contrast the two, I mean, teachers, Tap, uh, Mr. Frank and Mr. Cocker Harris. Mr. Frank is a young teacher of science, though he's, uh, he doesn't teach uh, Taplow, Taplow doesn't belong to his class, yet he takes interest in taking, um, talking to Taplow, Taplow, and, uh, you know, particularly 
he incites Taplo to criticize Mr. Crocker Harris, but you know Taplo doesn't criticize Crocker Harris. These contrasting features of the two preachers has been revealed in this, you know, story. Now we come to um, highlight the important points in this story. Frank is a young schoolmaster. Crocker Harris is a middle-aged master. He is a hard task master. Taplo is a boy of 16. He studies in lower fifth class. He has come to do extra work as ordered by Mr. Crocker Harris. Taplo in the uh, uh, Taplo is waiting for Mr. Uh, you know Crocker Harris, but uh, he is also waiting for his result. If he passes, he will opt science in the next class. Mr. Crocker Harris, unlike other teachers, never tells the result before it is formally announced. On the other hand, Mr. Frank believes that he doesn't keep secret. He he's, he's, he doesn't keep distance while dealing with the student. He criticizes Crocker Harris for being very, I mean, disciplined to the students. Taplow says that he's extremely interested in science. But Mr. Frank says that science is not such a good subject, though he himself is a teacher of science, but he doesn't encourage Taplo to take science. Uh, Frank tells Taplo that if his student is given an extra work on the last day, he should get through the class. Taplo describes that such sort of rules does not apply to Mr. Crocker Harris. Mr. Harris told Taplo that he had given him what he deserved, not less, not more. Mr. Frank releases Taplow speaking against Crocker Harris, but pretends. He suggests Taplow not to wait for and cut his class and go back home. Taplow is scared of Crocker Harris. He, he considers him as a strict taskmaster. Taplow replies that Mr. Crocker Harris is not a sadist, but he doesn't enjoy, you know, torturing the children. Mr. Crocker Harris doesn't allow uh, his uh, 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 real feelings to be revealed. Uh, in spite of all these shortcomings, children love him, they respect him, they like him. On the contrary, you know, uh, Mr. Frank doesn't enjoy that respect from the students. So he's jealous and he's envious of Mr. Cocker Harris. And that is how the, the, the one act play comes to conclusion. The, in a nutshell, we can say that this play described the two contrasting features of two teachers. The uh, one that is young, Mr. Frank, and the other which is middle-aged and stick taskmaster, Mr. Cocker Harris. Both of them are different in age, temperament and devotion. One is devoted to his profession and one is a stick disciplinarian, Mr. Cocker Harris. The other one is young, social and doesn't keep distance from the students while dealing with them. As a contrary, he doesn't command as much respect as Mr. Cocker Harris command from his students. In spite of all the strict discipline and all devotion and all the, I mean, rules and regulations, Mr. Cocker Harris commands a great respect from his students. He is respected by them, though he is feared by them also. But he is shriveled inside like a nut. He is not hard-hearted. He is not a sadist who doesn't believe in torturing the students. He is simply a disciplinarian and he believes in not announcing the result before it is, not leaking out the result before it is formally announced. So that is how we come to, I mean, conclude that this play uh, is all about the contrasting feature of the two types of teacher. The one who is young and of a younger generation, who is little social and doesn't have much uh, regard for rules and regulation. The other Cocker Harris, who is a strict disciplinarian, a hard taskmaster, who believes in discipline and devotion to his profession, who doesn't want to uh, give the children any relaxation. He is justified and he keeps his uh, rules and regulations intact. He is respected only because of his discipline and his fairness. He, he, he gives the student uh, not less, not more, what they deserve. On the other hand, Mr. Frank, who is a young teacher, is envious and jealous of Crocker Harris. He doesn't believe in rules and regulations of the school. He doesn't keep a distance from the children while dealing with them. And that is why he criticizes Mr. Crocker Harris. His enviousness is quite revealed when he incites um, Taplow to criticize Crocker Harris. Crocker Harris 
I mean, commands a great respect from the students. So throughout the play, we find that Crocker Harris is known for his strict discipline and his devotion to his profession. As a teacher, he is being respected, admired by the children, despite all his, I mean, shortcomings and despite all his demerits that he's very, very harsh, very, very disciplined, very, very hard, I mean, in, in terms of uh, rules and regulation. Despite all this, he's being respected and he commands a great honor and respect from the students. That is how we conclude this play, one act play, the Browning version written by Terence Rectangles. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.